Representative Bill Posey is a Republican of Florida, and he's going to talk to the NASA Administrator Charles Bolden here about the 2015 NASA budget. And what you're about to see, in my opinion, is irrefutable evidence that Neil deGrasse Tyson's new show, The Rebirth of Cosmos, is definitely working. Check this out. Deep space exploration is hard, and we cannot jump to Mars. Uh, we have to develop the technologies. We've got to be confident that our systems are going to work. Uh, that's why, you know, when Chairman Smith asked about a Mars flyby, a Mars flyby is great, but it doesn't do anything for us in terms of deep space exploration. You know, if the crew survives, and I have doubts about that, that's why I'm not a fan of a Mars, a one-time Mars flyby. I mean, that, okay, we've done a one-time Mars flyby. As great as Apollo was, and it was awesome, uh, we never stayed on the surface of the moon for more than days. If we're going to go to the surface of the moon, we better stay there for a month or two months, or we're not going to learn anything about the impact of less than one gravity on the brain or on yeah. other kinds but, of but, but, but do we agree, in, in, unless uh, at some point there's the ability to leave this earth, oh, uh, the survival of our species is threatened? I, I'm, I'm, not a, I, I'm, I'm not a fatalist, but we do need to be able to be a multi-planet species. A, a realist. We're trying to look at eternity. We're trying to look at the future. I mean, one of these days our sun, it won't, you and I won't see it, you know, nobody we know will see it, but one of these days our sun's going to burn out. It's a star. And it would be nice if we had become, have become a multi-planet species by then. And we're not just on Mars. By then, people will be living in other solar systems because the solar system will go away. You know, so like, I, like, we like, got to get, we got to get beyond. My, my, like my granddaughter says, you know, she says, "Oh, gee, you, you think about Mars? I'm, I'm going way beyond that." And she's right. When the sun gives out, this solar system goes away. We, we have to think about planting trees. Yes. For Other places. generations, yes. that, the, exactly. the shade from which we'll never expect to, to have. And, right. and, and I like Neil deGrasse Tyson when he says, you know, space is truly the only investment we make for future generations. Yes, sir. And I agree. That is a Republican representative quoting Neil deGrasse Tyson. That's such a tremendous victory. I don't think your average person understands that. I mean, Neil deGrasse Tyson did the impossible in making an elected Republican excited about science. He was excited in that conversation. You could see it in his face. Like, he's interested in their responses. He's like, uh, would you agree that uh, eventually we're going to have to, you know, become a, a what, what did you say, multi-planet species or something like that? There's so many aspects to this that are interesting. I mean... <laughs> That wouldn't have happened without Cosmos. It wouldn't have happened. Because these guys, they're not going to listen to me, man. I'm a partisan guy. People know I got zero love for the Republicans. I hate the Democrats, too, but the Democrats aren't, you know, fucking flat earthers and, and it, religious fundamentalists. So they're slightly better, so I don't bash them as much. But they're not going to listen to me. They're not going to listen to guys like Bill Maher, who loves science, Richard Dawkins, who's like the biggest avowed atheist, who I love, and I love his book, The God Delusion, is fantastic. Check that out if you haven't yet. But they're not going to listen to us. Neil deGrasse Tyson is this, like, likable guy who has a passion for science, and he ha finds a way to, like, work his way into the heads of people who don't even like him or agree with him and make them go, oh, that's how shit works. So it, the fact that they're thinking that long term and they're like, fuck, like, I, I think the guy just, just realized it now. I think a lot of Republicans are starting to think about it now if they saw Cosmos at all. This idea that, whoa, 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 wait a second, I never even thought about that. I never thought about the fact that billions of years from now, the sun isn't going to be the sun anymore. The sun becomes a red giant and then it fucking dies. And then Earth is done at that point. We're done. It's not possible for life to continue, you know. Uh, the solar system would essentially be done too because once our uh, sun is done, it's done, done. <laughs> you know, there's no, no more Mars, no more Neptune, no more Jupiter, which is... We're done. And he like he just realized it, like, oh, oh, right. Yeah, it might be a problem. So that's a great thing. But, and here's a, this is a big but, too. Dude, you got way more things to care about before the fucking, the end of the sun. You know, like, he's jumping a step 8 trillion right now. Like, we're not going to be around by then anyway. Because no, you know, species could live that long, survive that long. It's just impossible to go that long. You know, and I mean, what, 
what you should care about is global warming. See, this is the thing. You, what we need to have is Neil deGrasse Tyson break it down in the same kind of way that he's done everything so far. Break down climate change, the science of climate change in the series. And he might do that. In fact, he probably will do that knowing him and how smart he is and how he's on top of all the issues. And that should make, you know, these Republicans who have taken so much money from ExxonMobil and Chevron and BP and they're so corrupt, they might go, holy shit. Or not all of them. Fuck. Not even a lot of them, but some of them might go, holy fuck balls! what are we doing? We are perpetuating this problem and making it worse, and this shit is going to kill us before the sun, you know, dying out ever, ever will kill us. And, you know, as all you got to do, because there are Democrats that exist too, and they're on the page of doing some sort of global warming legislation, all you got to do, Neil, is convince, like... 30 of them, 40 of them in the House of Representatives, right? All you got to do is get like four or five of them in the Senate. Just, you know, swing some of them to our side and then we'll get some real legislation through and really start fighting the problems that really mean something like climate change and like all the other things we have issue with.